into the center lane. This report is sponsored by Napa Auto Parts. Better if you get onto the car in the truck lane instead of the turnpike. Garden State Parkway. Traffic has been slowing down with some construction work to watch out for. Uh, to the midday hours have happened in the local lanes of the parkway south at 109 and also uh, north hand side coming from 105 to 109 and then 114 to 116. Traffic on 287 back into 440 in Middlesex County. Not too bad. Anyone of a flipped over tractor trailer now. This is going to be at the New Jersey Turbine Getter Change 10 on the right shoulder of the entrance ramp to the uh, turnpike. And uh, 287 South here at 14, a small vehicle in the middle of the roadway. Do watch out for that. 78, still not a bad looking ride. 280 West near the Parkway, construction cleared. Eastbound 288, exit 13, is a crash in one lane. 80 West at Mount Hollow, that exit 26, a crash on the left shoulder of the roadway. And we're still moving along pretty nicely on 195. 295 North has been slowing exit 28 with a stalled tractor trailer. Not bad on the AC Expressway and Silver Motor delays both ways to the Walt Whitman Bridge and leaving New Jersey at the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Hudson River crossings. Looks like everything is back down to under a five minute delay. This April, hurry and Danny participating Napa Auto Parts store get a can of Napa brake cleaner for just $1.98 or a gallon container of hand cleaner for just $8.98. New Jersey fast traffic every 15 minutes around the clock. Next report at 2.48 on Town Rivers on New Jersey 101.5. New Jersey 101.5, things to weather sunny with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Clear and partly cloudy tonight, lows in the 40s with a few 30s possible in the coolest spots. Partly cloudy tomorrow, brisk wind, 50 to 55. Windy on Saturday, rain arrives by late morning or afternoon with highs of 49 to 54. And then sun will be back on Sunday with highs back in the 60s. Belmont Town 63, Bagel 69, and Calpon now 63. Weather is made possible by Streamline Air. Fly to Boston for just $99 on Streamline. Now flying from Trenton Mercer Airport. Book at onefly.streamline.com. Flights are uh, public charters on the PC 11054, operated by charterairtransport.com. Weather every 10 minutes here on New Jersey 101.5. It's online at nj115.com. Uh, how does a little extra cash sound right about now? How about 50 grand in extra cash? You can win my credit card with a $50,000 limit. Just visit nj1015.com now and click on the Win Casey's Credit Card button. Then plug in what you think are the last six digits of my credit card number. If you get it right, we'll give you my $50,000 credit card to spend on whatever your little heart desires. This is all courtesy of New Jersey 101.5 and Lackland Cell Storage. Storage solutions for life's challenges. Just go to nj1015.com now for your chance to win. It's 237, New Jersey 101.5, Casey Rossi and Casey Bartholomew. He's, uh, Ray Rossi will win you until 7 o'clock this evening. Right now we're taking your phone calls about Steve the Pig. Well, uh, 10-week-old Vietnamese micro pot belly pig. His name's Steve. He escaped. He got out. Tiny little thing. Didn't have tags on. He's been in the neck. Like most bad people. Uh, so uh, the police caught him, and they sent him off to a undisclosed location, a farm near Reading, PA. But the owners discovered he was there, went to go pick him up, and they said, no, you can't have him back. You can't have pigs in the town, so you may not have him back. Now, all the owners want to do is they want to take the pig back, and they want to find a place for it themselves so that they know where it is, so that they can go visit it. Maybe give it to a friend who can have pigs, maybe find a sanctuary, something like that. But the township is saying, no, you can't have that pig. We're making bacon. They want to, I guess they're afraid that this couple is going to illegally serve. I can't them. They're going to keep the pig. So just do uh, pig checks every now and again, and you'll, and you'll be okay. I guess. So we want to know if they should get their pig back. Because all they want to do is give it to someone they know so that they can visit it. Doesn't sound like too much to ask. You no. put a time limit on it. And if you say, if you don't do it, we're going to find you that number of dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, for violation of the ordinance. And uh, also, if you have any uh, unusual pets, especially micro farm animals, you freaks. one 800 283 said Katie in Reddington. Katie, you're on New Jersey 101.5. How you doing, Katie? I'm doing very well. I just want to say that if I had a were to own a pig, it was, I would not acquire an um, accident. I would deliberately go out and I would purchase a pig. Well, then you see, then you're, then you're admitting your psychosis. And that's the first step towards a um, cure, you know? I have, I have no problem doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a really small town in New Jersey, um, South Down Brook. Mm -hmm. You would not ever think that you would talk about an animal death. But these two people in the backyard, they had two full-size hot belly pigs. Wow. Yes locked up in a pen, they just go inside the house, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And knowing very well that 
you know, my parents would never allow me to own a full size pot belly saying that I got older and I found out that they make them in like travel size. The travel size. Hi, I'm just a travel space. <laughs> Run, so. I'm 22 now. I'm 22 now. Yeah. I would so I would love to own a little main kit. Why don't you go get one? Shed. Why don't you go get one? Yes. If they could be one of us, I mean, that's awesome. Don't you go, why, why, why don't you go get one? Yeah. When I move out, I have four in time. I'm moving out this week. And once I get myself settled, I just told my mom, actually, a couple days ago, I said, Mom, I can finally get my pig. and need a Carol. But you just need a Carol. Is this after a fat one? Why? It's a long time. Uh, do you, do you get a boyfriend? I do. Uh, how does he feel about the pig? Or does he know? He wants adoption, so I figured that I was just game five. Wants adoption? That's a shed. That's my argument. The dog will shed. Is he a heterosexual? Are you a beard? Is he a heterosexual? Are you a beard girlfriend? Is he, is he, is he, is he, is he, he wants adoption? He's straight. He's straight. He's straight. I'm saying, well, he's dead. I'm going to have adoption, and that's why he wants one because. You ever meet the dead uncle? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? You, you ever meet the dead uncle? No. No. He has a he has a portrait of him on his arm. Though. On his arm? Yeah. You got a tattoo of another man on his arm. You want to get dogs to honor him? It sounds really bad, but I promise you it's not. No, I don't know how you put a positive spin on that. I have a picture, I have a, t I have a tattoo of another man on my arm, and I want, and I want to get puppies. I want to get, you know, as far as you know, you never met him. You need to get out of that. I don't care what you do. I mean, you know, he's in the deep. I hang out with Chris, but he's got uncle Steve all the time. Uh huh. Yeah, they're trying to indoctrinate you. But, but, but the point is that. You're with a strange man who has other men tattooed on his body who wants girl dogs and uh, you get issues with a pig. You, you, have, you, you have greater issues in your life right now, Katie, whether you realize it or not, than getting a pig. Are you surprised at how much bigger they get? <laughs> how much bigger? Oh, no, I'm not, actually. You're, you're dating a gay man. I don't know how... <laughs> well, I'm dachshunds, for God's sake. All right, well, you know, good luck with that, Katie. Who knew this uh, was going to unravel into the outer psychosis? Swear to God, I mean, I would remember. Yeah, I don't even go to school. I'm going to become a therapist. I'm going to become like a mean therapist. Yeah, I'm not going to be one of those therapists who sits back, crosses the legs, and how do you feel about that? I'm going to be the kind that says, are you effing crazy? Are you crazy? Well, I'm going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, all kinds of therapy. Yeah, how are you talking about horse snacks? Yeah, I'm going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Tomato, wheat middlings, sugar, ground wheat, steamrolled oats, blah, blah, blah. But it smells divine. Who's that other man tattooed on his pelvis? Hi, John. Let's go to Dave in Allentown. Dave, you're on New Jersey 101.5. Yeah. What's up, Dave? You like that, huh? Hello. 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 Hello.